Hey guys, welcome back to another Cricut video. So today, my sister-in-law wanted a t-shirt made for Thanksgiving because she's pregnant. So we are going to make this shirt that says, this is what I'm thankful for. And it has little baby feet up like where her stomach's supposed to be. And well, where her stomach is not supposed to be. Anyway, so we're gonna make that and I already have everything ready. This is the vinyl she wanted, the color vinyl she wanted. Um, it's from Hobby Lobby. Um, and the black t-shirt is also from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, let's go ahead and I guess start on the video. So yeah, we're gonna get started. Okay, so this is the shirt we are using. It's just a plain black t-shirt from Hobby Lobby. It's a size medium in men's. So we're gonna get rid of this for now. And for like my heat press thing, I'm just using a towel because I'm not spending $30 on a mat, a heat press mat. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut out our vinyl and get it ready. Oh no, there's tape on it. Maybe if we can get that off there. Okay. So, if you look over here... Ew, get off me. Okay, if you look over here at my iPad, then you can see I have the four, the baby feet, and then this all separate. Because when I was adding the four to this, it was putting it over here and I didn't really like it like that. So, I'm just going to do it a different color. Well, it's going to be all be the same color, but... But when we're doing a iron on, you always want to turn mirroring on because if you're not, your image will be backwards when you transfer it to your t-shirt. So make sure mirror, mirror is on on all of them. So we'll start with the four and she wanted a three by like two and a half on that. So we're gonna go here, take our vinyl, stretch out, so like, do like a four by let me go ahead and see I have a marker in there we'll do a frame I guess so she wanted like a four so we're gonna do like a four maybe if I can open it okay. right there and then we'll go to three over here. Ain't gotta be perfect, it's just for measurements. So, I'll go ahead and, I should have came more prepared. I don't need that. Actually I do. Okay, let me find my scissors. Go ahead and cut this out. I'll just use my cutter thing to hold that back. I cut this out. So take scissors and we'll cut this piece out. Just as straight as possible. Maybe. If there's an easier way to do this, comment down below because I have no idea. Like I said, I'm still new to this. I normally would use this, but since it's just a small piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my scissors. On the bigger pieces, we will use that. Okay, so. I can get rid of this for now. Okay, so we'll take this off. over there so then we'll go ahead and take our vinyl we'll stick it down here in the or up here in this corner try and get it as straight as possible okay so now that we have this um all flattened out we can use our scraper to kind of flatten it out a little bit more i hate this crap and then do that then we'll push continue for that and then 
searching for my Cricut machine. Push that. I'll go ahead and load it in here. Once it loads. Turn the light down. If it'll load. Let's make sure it's turned on vinyl. Okay, now that I loaded in, or loaded, we're gonna go ahead and load this in here. Push there. We'll calculate what it's doing. We'll push the C to cut it, and then it'll start cutting. Go ahead and weed it really fast. Go ahead and weed this. Maybe. Come on. that now I'm gonna pull this stuff off. Go ahead and get this middle piece. And then the middle of the O that one up there. And then that's basically it for that. And then we'll go ahead and set that to the side and I'll go ahead and make the other ones and when we are um, starting to make the shirt I'll get back right back. Oh I'll get right back to y'all once I get everything I cut it and get ready to make the shirt. Okay, now we got everything on there. Just trying to get like all the fuzz and stuff off there. So we'll take some parchment paper, stick it over the top of this. I got it aligned like where I want it. So we'll take parchment paper. I'll take my easy press and stick it on there. seconds. And I didn't get the big one, so it doesn't cover everything, but I'll get that in just a second. So I'll kind of like put some pressure down on it and move around a little bit. I set mine to like 360 degrees. I don't know what the normal like temperature is. I have the book around here somewhere, but that's what I normally set it at, and I'll go ahead and lift it up, move it over here to the other side. Mainly focus all my pressure on this side because this is how that can put pressure on, so just kind of focus over here. Down there. Uh, 
Don't know if you're supposed to move it around or not, but I do. I feel like it helps, but I have no idea. So go ahead and take that off. Stick over there. Take our parchment paper off. Stick it over there. This is what it looks like for now. So let's see if we can get this off without it. Pin. There's the four. So then we'll go ahead and do the thankful. Go ahead and pull it off. And then at the end, I do like a final heat press. And just to, I guess, lock everything in. Seems to be coming off well. So So like I said we'll do a final heat so let's take parchment paper again. Just kind of lock it in. Do one with parchment paper and then I do one without it. Do the baby feet, which is here. So we'll go ahead and move the shirt upwards. Just slide it up. She wants it down here on her belly, so let me see here. We should go down a little bit more. So. Probably about right there, or we'll go about right here. Yeah, we'll go about right there. So we'll do the same thing with parchment paper, stick it down there. Now we got done with that. Take this off. Go ahead and peel this off. Make sure the toes stay down. Just like that. Put that stuff in the trash. The parchment paper again. It's all nice and in there. Then we'll set that to the side. We'll let the shirt cool for a little bit. And then We'll show you the result. This is the final shirt. This is what I'm thankful for. Like I said, she is pregnant, so she wanted the feet down here by her belly. The screenshot that she sent me had it like under the four sign, or the, yeah, the four, and she wanted it down here like where her belly is gonna be for Thanksgiving. So this is her shirt, and that's the end. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share if you want, but stay tuned for the next video. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Christmas coming up. I have some stockings that my aunt, she finally sent me or got the stockings. I believe I talked about it in my last video, but I finally got the stockings that she wants. I got to put their names on it and I will record a video for that once I do that. It'll probably go up sometime next week. I'm going to try and have this uploaded probably Friday, which will be the 26th. So I'll have, try and have that uploaded on the 26th. Don't know what time it'll go up, but I'll edit it probably tonight or tomorrow. And y'all have um, a happy Thanksgiving, even though it'll be the day after Thanksgiving. But the weekend's coming up, and I have um, a Thanksgiving dinner to go to this weekend so y'all have a good thanksgiving and y'all be safe bye